Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are diving into super fun and powerful feature in Unreal Engine 5.4, adding fractures to your objects. Whether you're working on dynamic destruction sequence or just want to shatter something for fun, this tutorial will get you started. So let's break it down literally. Uh, before we are going to explore this, let's talk about what we are going to achieve here. Fracturing in Unreal Engine is a way to simulate breaking objects apart, smashing walls, breaking glass, or shattering rocks and with Unreal Engine 5.4 it's never been easier to add this effect to your scenes. Alright first thing first let's start with a basic object uh, you can use simple cube or import a custom model whatever works for your project today I'm going to use this simple wall which I have downloaded from Megascan. Once you have imported your model in the scene go ahead and make sure it's selected. Now to enable the fracturing, we'll be using Chaos Destruction System. If it's not enabled, head over to Edit and click on Plugins and search for Chaos. And here you will find the Chaos and after that uh, you have to restart your Unreal Engine. And make sure your object is selected and go to this menu and after that click on Fracture. And now we are going to generate a new geometry and click on New. So I'm going to save this in our content create geometry collection so now first thing we are going to do is to get back to our object and for that i'm going to go back to selection and uh, here i will search color show bone color disable it and go back to fracture and after that we are going to click on cluster so as you can see we can see our object back but when we are going to click uh, it falls back to this checker texture so don't need to worry we are going to click on cluster and after that i'm going to hit and press fracture and yeah so whenever i'm going to increase this it is going to destroy itself so go back to selection fracture sorry fracture and uh, yeah if i'm going to increase this so as you can see uh, it has been destroyed into many pieces but the thing is we are still seeing this checker texture so i'm going to select this and yeah problem solved so to simulate this you are going to click here on simulate and after that we are going to press simulation so as you can see uh, nothing works it's because we do not have added some sort of bombs and uh, uh, let me show you how we can do that i'm going to press control space go to all and search for b o m b and uh, there you go. I'm going to move back a little bit and uh, I will resize this from here. So I'm going to simulate this now and uh, if I'm going to press this so you will see the magic. There you go. <laughs> so let's simulate this again and uh, hit play. So as you can see, it is destroying accurately. So you can use that in sequencer and uh, let me show you how we can use that. So for that, we are going to use the chaos cache manager and uh, I will save this. Go and select the chaos cache manager and uh, make sure it sets on record and after that when you are going to play I will try to destroy this and uh, yeah I will press stop and uh, here i will select again chaos and select static pose so if i'm going to play with time now yeah so you will see we can destroy this in a way that we can later on use in sequencer so let me create a new sequencer 
by going into a level sequence I will create a new folder and yeah uh, you will just drag and drop this and if you want to hide this you can go to form volume yeah and uh, search for visible and unhide this so here i will add the start time and uh, yeah as you can see now we can play with the keyframes so i will hit this on 6.1 and after that so as you can see I will slow it down by dragging far away the keyframes so yeah and that's it you have now got fractured object in unreal engine 5.4 whether you are working on a chaotic gam environment or cinematic explosion the chaos destruction system lets you add a ton of realism and fun to your projects if you find this tutorial helpful don't forget to like comment and subscribe for more unreal engine tips and tricks hit the bell icon so you can never miss an update thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one